Good evening, everybody. It is the middle of the week. It is my indie showcase on the 20th of March. And we've got some treats in store today for you. So first up, we've got Flower Shop Winter in Fairbrook, which is an Rattalaka game, which is coming out. One second, I should have had my one note open. Um, on the 22nd of March, but there's no embargo, so we've, we're streaming this a couple of days early before launch. Then next up, we have Master Maker 3D, which is being produced by Derek DF and um, published by East Asia Soft. That's due to be, well, that's due out today, it is out. Um, we do have a giveaway code for that. It won't be used during this stream. We'll probably be using it over on the Twitch side of things, or I might be holding back for a special event. We then have retouring, which is from Sometimes You. Their typical three stack game. So you'll have the Xbox One version, an Xbox Series S and X, and a Windows version, which can potentially get you a triple stack. That's out on the 29th, so nine days away on that one, but there's no embargo, so we're playing it today. And then finally, from Brian Media, we're going to be playing Stunt Paradise, which actually comes out tomorrow, I believe. Um, and there's no embargo, so we can, we can play that this evening. So that's, that's what we've got in store. Let's jump back over to the chat and see who's in. Sphinx, slandering my time when I was spot on, eight o'clock. Uh, Mike, howdy, and Anna, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Over on the YouTube side of things today. Oh, I've just had a message from Brian Media saying, thanks, have a nice stream, wonderful. So, Let's jump straight into it, shall we? No giveaway tonight, Goth, no. Um, it's my birthday in May, and I may be copying somebody that I may have been watching recently, but I'm, I'm up for the idea of potentially doing another 24-hour marathon, um, potentially around birthday time. would be. I, I could probably get away with birthday um, with the missus. So I'm trying to stockpile some codes so we can do one every hour kind of thing. Again, it's quite fun. It gets a lot of people in. So I'm thinking of doing something like that in May when it's birthday. Are you true? How are you doing? Uh, let's make the camera a little smaller, shall we? And um, dive straight into some games. The first one is a graphic novel where you have the option to skip. So I haven't looked for a guide. Um, we'll kind of jump in blind and see how we fare. It has been out on Steam for a while, so there is probably a steel, a steel guide. A uh, Steam guide up there somewhere to get most of the endings, but we'll jump in blind and see how we fare. I can always clean it up off stream if needed. You won two in a row. So I'll stick my headset on. We'll jump into fl the flower shop Winter in Fairbrook, which is from Rattalaka, and it's out in a couple of days. I saw I've 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 spied you true playing light year frontier, getting a few achievements. Yeah, sneaky devil, yeah. I can only assume you're um, doing some of the grindy ones, like feed all the animals and all that. Be back on uh, Lightyear Frontier on Friday, I think. It's probably going to be the earliest for me. Bigger giveaways for the subs so you don't end up with... So a lot of the chords I do get are obviously the, the little indie... 4.99 titles there is a couple in there that are bundles and things which are maybe worth 10 or something but um 
I might purchase something that's um, a little bit more meatier, shall we say. All right. I don't know how this is going to fare as a stream, because... Skip scene messages, all messages. After choices, stop skipping. Does have a um, save game option there in the corner. Yeah, I don't know how these fare to live stream. The more, this is better content for guides, really. For <clears throat> hiya session, welcome in. I won't stop skipping straight away. This scene looks very familiar. You only get the granny ones as I... Yeah, I had I thought you'd be doing that. It's perfectly fine. I'm only teasing with you. I haven't even looked at the achievements. Oh, it was only 11. 11 achievements. Um, looks like... Most of them are endings. Work on your plot of land for the first time. Buy some seeds. Those are 95. Jacob, Ryan, Steve. There's a Steve in here. Ending. Trent... And then Jacob, Ryan, Steve, and Trent special endings. Okay. Let's just go with top options for now and see what we end up with. That's that noise. I love poetry. Looks like there might be quite a lot of choices. Does seem to be ew. got eleven weeks left. Skip mode Monday. Is this so you could like um jump jump ahead of them? Buy seedlings with Ryan? Jacob, Trent, Steve's farm, relax. I don't know. Let's let's just go with the general store Monday. Start next week. It begins again. Zero percent. I think I'm potentially the first person that's uh, played this game. All the weeds use the clear button to clear them. Ah, clean down there. I haven't got any seeds. <laughs> Buy something. Um. I've got money. Let's buy some roses. Buy all the roses. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need money later on in the game. Let's right, plant a rose. What a plant. You really need to work on the garden, I don't know. For the endings. <laughs> a visual novel with a weekly schedule as well as romancing. What's going on? Stop working. I just keep going back the same. I remember. Each turn is one hour of in game time. 
The remaining time. No, I gotta spend all the time. Yep. I just keep. I just keep walling that plant. <laughs> Steve, welcome in. You want two pairs of shades? Crab shades. It's another day of um, stop working. Jeez. This is weird. You're literally just going to use up all your time. Keeps going back to the plot. Slip save options. I don't know what I've done. Unless I am meant to be... Alright. So it looks like it's done a load of work mores on the top and then two of the general stores. I have no idea what's going on. The garden does like, does influence the endings, I agree. Probably the special endings, is it? Each person's probably got a particular flower they like. Something stupid like that. Um, I think I was... Start next week. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm meant to be selecting what I'm doing on each day of the week, and I, I hadn't set these. Ah, see. Let's just go for the uh, Ryan ending, shall we? Just general store it all out. Ah, we wondered where you were, um, yesterday, Stevie. Surely this is going to be the same conversation over and over again. Should we clean up the garden a little bit? This is, um... I think I was meant to go to various places, wasn't I? We're not even having conversations here, I don't know what's going on. This might be a good one for a guy, perhaps. I am tempted to um, quickly look on Steam and see if there's a guy. Oh, we've got something different. Possibly because I've planted stuff. The parasites, yes. Harvest and sell. Madness. <laughs> I don't buy anything.
Wie groß ist es? Taking flight. Don't walk today. Should we just change it up like that? We'll go to Steve's farm one day. Nine weeks left. Cash symbol on it. Maybe we should just harvest and sell them. Pictures of parasites flying around, but apparently there's none on it. Third set of YouTube items, 15 minutes. I've got it on balance, to got it on like the defaults. I ain't got it cranked up or anything. I never see him because I'm premium. I get the joys of not having any adverts. If you have a decent ad blocker, I guess. Then it's, it's as well. Apologize. What do you want? Before? My dinosaur. Hey? My dinosaur. Mama. Mama. <laughs> One second to child. Worst flower shop ever, yeah, it is. I am going to probably look on Steam for a guide or something like that. else going on. In terms of graphic novels, it is um, a little bit more involved than your um, typical... I've got nothing to plant now, I'm going to have to buy something. says is we're back back here again. It's watered everything. Mm -hmm. Back here again. to be a lot of achievements going up on TA and getting all the notifications while I'm playing this. Is anybody getting Dragon's Dogma 2? He's getting pretty good um, pretty good write up. Darling. 
Ah, I pressed the wrong one. There you go. I'm not watching from Albania. You got it true. When is it out? Is it out today? Is it pre order? Or what's the dealio? I've seen a few videos and gameplay of it, but it looks quite interesting. I don't know much more than that about it. <laughs> so we're picking all the wrong answers. I wonder if it's uh, option two that I'm meant to be pressing or not now, uh, option one. something. Um, carnations. It's out Friday. How much is it out of curiosity? Is it um, AAA price? Wednesday afternoon, there was no choice option. So we've got a rose that hasn't hasn't grown. There's compost on it. Full price. Mm, I've got a little bit of coin in um, Microsoft Rewards, but you're talking maybe 30, 35 quid's worth. I think I'll watch a little bit more um, gameplay on it, or even yourself playing it true if you are um, going to be live streaming it. Um, I'll see how it plays and then I'll decide. Spent all my report ward points. No, I'm not gonna be in it. Yeah, I it's been a lot of negativity from people um, today because of that um, Microsoft rewards app moving. To be honest, I keep forgetting to do the weeklies. So I'm on week one currently, because I forgot last week. <laughs> I'm bad for, um, oh my god, this is, this is painful. This looks like it could be a fairly long completion. Hundred percent completion guide on flower shop. Steam guide, surprise, surprise. Jacob's primary stat is determination, which you can raise by spending time with Steve. <laughs> All right. Um, at the library, tell Trent you're most interested in mystery. During the storm, try to reason with Jacob. When Jacob first wakes, Natalie up telling me. My week, she usually looked like Sunday general store. Monday primary stat. Primary stat. I don't know what primary stat is. Rest, perhaps. game summer looks a bit of a nightmare this um you 
do anything with these stats. Doesn't seem to be any suggestion on planting anything to get the endings. There's no talk of. Every boy has two stats and you need to raise to romance. His primary stat needs to be at least 80 and his secondary needs to be 60. The second. Is this the right game? Yeah. The second stat for each boy is the stat you raise when you spend time with him. The amount of money you you earn has an effect on the epilogue, but ha not at the end, not the end you get. Simply put, if you do well, the guides are pretty um lousy. Lightyear Frontier, um, pretty good, Rob. Pretty good. Um, I'll be back on it on Friday nights. Doesn't look like a very long completion, though. I'm talking somewhere between 10, 15 hours. De depending how much you're, you're funny around with planting things. And... There is There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff to do. It is game preview, I suppose. So There's only, like, two areas we've not been yet. But I'm liking it. It's 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 pretty chilled. A lot of the achievements seem to be shared, not all of them, but some of them. Jesus, I can't do both. That's my problem. I don't have the time to produce guides and live stream. So I'd have to drop a couple of evenings of um, live streaming to create guides and stuff. Because this kind of thing takes an age. If you're the first person on it. And... guides on steam just seem to be pointers in which what you should be doing and in terms of talking to people in the correct way and stuff apparently you get a different epilogue depending on um How much cash you make. It doesn't say how much cash you make. It's all all very vague. Um, so I'm, I'm not putting any time into um, working, but I keep going to work. Seems a bit odd. See what I mean? Looks like so every morning you end up here anyway. Although there doesn't seem to be achievement for the epilogue, there's special endings, but and apparently talking to each of the boys increases your stats or some rubbish. It's all very vague. Just figure out how to get a 25-hour day and use the extra hour to make an edit guide. Takes me longer than an hour though. I mean, like, takes me several hours. It's ridiculous. 
I don't know if it's just me or that's the general consensus for everybody that does guides and things, but it takes takes forever. If I can play a game once and get like good footage, then great. But it tends to be the case that you miss something or you can do it quicker. Or well, certainly for me anyway. So I'd go through it again a second time. And depending on the length of the game, that's an additional couple of hours or... Then you edit it, then you talk over it. Sometimes you can get away with just doing a two minute intro at the start and the rest talk speaks for itself. Sometimes you have to talk through the whole thing, it's... Ooh, we've got a lot of talking here. Hang on. Da, da, da. Yeah, again, it's just pointers. There's no. Hang on, is there another Steam guide? Guides. The fail proof guide to 100%. It was, that's the one I was in. <laughs> At the library, tell Trent, during the storm, try to reason, ah, during the storm, try to reason with Jacob, then stay and help take care. I've probably missed steps, so. I don't know how you chase a particular boy. <coughs> so my stats have changed. My health's gone down. It's weird. It's not very weird. I don't think we'll get many achievements on this in the first hour. Jacob thing. During the storm, try to. I've done that bit. When Jacob wakes Natalie up, tell him. I don't even have an option for any of those. Tell him to wait for a bit. And there is an option. <laughs> He's friendly now. I don't know how we're getting Jacob and not the others. I probably ballsed up the earlier interactions so I don't actually get the uh, super duper ending, but whatever. Probably don't need the plants either. I'm not going to plan anymore. Let's just try and get a ending out of the way. <laughs> Don't even know what these interaction. We got something different. There seems to be one on TA now that takes two hours with a guide. Ooh, somebody put one up already. Is that not for the old other game, Steve? I don't see it. Are oh, we talking about a different game? <laughs> oh, the summer game. Is that what we're worrying about? Sorry, I've been on the other tab, so. I've been. I don't even know what this guy's called. I 
ask you about. Ask about do 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 gonna harvest that one crop. Got three weeks left. I think you get several endings at once. And this is Jacob again. Suggest to go for a walk. The guide's not very well written. But I think they seem to be random encounters, so I don't even know who this person is. Um Sport. I'll just do a search for sport. This must be Steve. When Steve asks tell him you like sports. Gonna lurk. Welcome in, Corpsey. Hiya, Lucy. I don't think I said hello officially to you. Rewards are introducing a 14 day streak protection feature, meaning you can lose up to 14 days without. What? 14 days? So they are keeping streaks then. choices in that one. That Jacob again. Um tell him he needs to take care of him. Very good. I'm probably not gonna get the right ending because I fucked up some of the um earlier Traces by the looks of it. A lawn ending. Yes. <laughs> I didn't woo anybody. So I don't know how you get their special endings. There's a normal ending and then there's a special ending. I didn't get either ending. Um, it could be that the Xbox version is different to the Steam one. Maybe you have to do something with the flowers, who knows. How I did it. Tuesday, the boy you're courting or general store if you need seats. Wednesday, primary start or general store if you need seats. Thursday, rest. Friday, the boy you're courting. Saturday, primary start. I don't know what primary start means. During the second week, I visit the library. Not, it's, if not required. I only visit the store once a week to sell what I and buy what I need for the week. This guide's garbage. I save on the last week and spend all my money to get the normal ending. And then re oh, okay. reload this save and sell everything to get the special ending. You don't tell me how much is needed though. Oh, somebody in the comments does. $400 is needed for the special ending. So you do need the fucking flowers.
All right, I just need to kind of work. We'll have another run. I'll do a bit more garden until I've got 400. We'll vaguely follow along with this. Doesn't tell me what to start with with that. I did like being teased. That was a bad. <laughs> a bad start. Um, was this Trent? Was it? When Trent asks about poetry, tell him you don't get it. Just right. I don't, I don't know who's who. Ask if he wants to be left alone. This is Steve. So you'd rather not talk about it. Any. I'm pretty sure that is Steve, isn't it? Well, I'd say they're very strict. It is Steve. Right. What did they suggest for the days? Monday primary stat. I don't know what that means. There's no indication what the fuck primary stat means. Should we put it on work more? Tuesday, the boy you caught. Let's go for Steve. Wednesday, primary stat with general store if you need seats. Yeah, I don't know what primary stat is. Thursday, rest. Friday, the boy you caught, and, and Saturday, primary stat. All right, let's actually do some housekeeping. Doesn't seem to matter what plant you plant, just making $400 say before the end, I don't know where the end is, probably the last week is of course. Um, back here we get the stuff. Suggest that it's best to be serious some of the time. Stop working until I get some seeds. When did I have the general stop? Is it? <laughs> Didn't I put the general store in? Fuck. That was stupid, wasn't it? Carnations you got, matey. Shit.
I think I spot the problem with this game, it's shite. Um, I can't say I'm loving it, to be brutally honest. I'm not really a fan of the visual novel um, games. They're not really my kind of thing. Just tend to be quick achievement score, don't they? I don't think this one is. Big so many. Crop work and stuff. I thought I clicked buy something. Blatantly didn't. Mm, tell me you like sports. I think it's the end. Yeah, far too early for bed, Steve. You'd be up in the crack of dawn. I think this is going to be the slowest game out of the lot. So if you were wanting something to go to sleep to, this is probably it, man. Um, what's wrong with that thing? It hasn't grown. Dallas. Buy something. Um, more carnation. <coughs> so all the games this evening are from the usual suspects, so you Rattalakas, your um, East Asia Softs, Derek DF's in there, sometimes you. Normally, um, the atypical quick completions, but this ain't one. for me back in agony after two days of pointless training. Played some of the Derek DF game earlier. It's his worst game. I think it's his first one. I think that's the first one he released on Steam. It's just been his later one for um, releasing on Xbox. There's a few of the earlier ones he ported over himself, I think, and now he's um, leaning on East Asia Soft to publish his, um, some of his older stuff. Retutoring's a really good puzzle game, finished it today. Good enough to do a triple stack. True. This is sometimes you, isn't it? When I request codes for it, I do have to make sure I'm asking for the Xbox One version because I know you're getting 50% off on the others. I have made the mistake before of actually um, requesting the Series S and X one, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's sometimes you. I haven't any many conversations with Steve at this point. I 
maybe just have an interaction every couple of weeks or something. Or buy something. Why not? Get more bang for your buck. How long we do it? We need, we've been doing this for 15 minutes. Guys, um... You can tell it's a PC game because the um, trying to click on stuff's a right pain in the ass. Cash, hundred and sixty six. I'm trying to select that damn thing. Not happening. Waggy finished Master Maker in 80 minutes. Is Stunt Paradise by. It is, yes, Steve, it is. Brian Media. Stunt Paradise. I think Stunt Paradise is probably going to. Yeah, I haven't played Retouring, obviously, but um, I think Stunt Paradise would be my favourite game of the evening if I uh, pick one without playing it yet. I don't know why I'm having no interactions with Steve at this point. Oh, that's funny. I'm following the um, schedule. Ask him how work is. Ask him family. Ask him about his family. Oh Christ, he went up twice. It's not even him on wool. Um That's just blow it all. get a giveaway code or two from um, Brian but did send me quite a bit for the marathon the other week so I'm not sure if I want to lean on him for um, game codes but I guess if you don't ask you don't get so you want to return continue walking which one is it so you'd rather keep walking Say no. Alright, um, play the parasites off that thing and that thing. Sell that. Plant, plant stuff's a pain in the ass. I guess we could then replace the planting with rest days once we've got the money. 
the back end of this one speed, I suppose. Uh, I tried to reason with Jacob, wasn't it? And then still take care of Susanna. Oops, bring him up. Bring him up. Um, I've got much to buy at this point. Jesus Christ. We've got 200 longer. I'm assuming once the plant's fully grown, it won't die. See. Let's see it parasites on or something. leave ourselves in such a situation that we don't have quite 400. I think we've probably got enough already to be there. Three fifty. I think as long as we don't let them die and leave the plants as there is, um than enough for the achievement. Uh, we've got four weeks left. Doesn't look like the ones that are ready need to be tended so they can just be left. now really can't I don't need to uh... have the plot stuff on me daily routine so I'll take it off for rest I'll just keep guess Steve see Steve an extra yeah something oh there was a mention of sticking a library every once in a while in something wasn't it Apologize, I changed the subject. Apologize. Uh, I think I have to say I like week. Nah, no, don't buy any. I wasn't on me last week, was I? <laughs> Let's save, just in case I overshot it. Saturday morning's a good point to see. We'll see. We'll see what the hell happens. I don't think I'm maxed with anybody yet, so I don't know what the hell I'm meant to be. Steve's going to magically do something and 
this week. He appeared, but we didn't get an option. Fucking hell. Can't even get an ending. <sighs> All right, that was um, <laughs> the flower shop winter in Fairbrook. As you can see, we did uh, wonderfully well for a visual novel. We've played an hour and only got three sheets. Um, I'll try to work out uh, what the crack is with that. Mm. Mm, two minds to do guide. Because it is pretty difficult and people probably find it useful. does potentially mean playing several hours on the damn thing. And I'm not sure if I can endure it. All right, let's go over to Master Maker 3D, uh, which is Derek DF's new game and published by East Asia Soft. That came out today. If I can find it. There it is. It won't be quick. The first one took two hours. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a quick one session. Even with the guide, I think you're talking, like Steve says, a couple of hours. It took me 20-ish minutes to go full, through a full run. Planting all them flowers and and you've got to get five endings. So it's, it's like at least five runs. Ready to go. Warn you now, this game is a, a sticky jump. Has a sticky jump. Has a sticky jump. Achievements. First level, 10 coins. Defeat purple enemies with a hammer. Pink enemies with a hammer. Blue enemies. Build a level in the editor, destroy wooden boxes, complete any lava level, complete any cloud, swamp, desert, get a hammer, complete venture mode, bonus levels, bonus level 301. <laughs> um, all right, we'll do level one of adventure mode then. Ah, it's one of those, is it? When you press A and it doesn't, doesn't actually do anything. Any double jump. And I see a hammer. It's an achievement. Now whack the purple thing and we get five of them. Just jumping in this as is. And the fact that you only had to get like ten was it ten coins and kill five of those things. It looked like it, it sounded like a quick completion. Another hammer? We oh, could throw, throw them. Cameras. A little weird. Oh, there's boxes. You gotta break the boxes. Bang! Oh, yeah, the, I've just seen your comments, Steve. The view does suck. What's the right bumper do? Top down. Oh, it's a locked... Oh, it's a fixed camera. That might be better, actually. I'll try the top-down fixed camera. Take it you don't need to collect the coins anymore. Okay. And there's a point you can't see what's ahead of you. Oh, you lose your hammer if you take damage. 
And I can't break nothing. Well done. Well done. Bob the Builder's fallen on hard times, it looks that way. There's no rewards for coins or chivos once you've got, so feel free to ignore them. Well, it's just in these kind of games it's tempting to pick up the coins, isn't it? You see them and you want them. Oh, that was close. Hit that box for me. Maybe if the directional thing was a little better, I could. Problem is, I can't see where the end exit is. Not none the wiser from looking. Achievements: I don't need to kill any more than purple dudes. Destroy some boxes. There's the end. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Jesus. Where's that come from? Oh, you start with no hammer. Why, why, why? Disorientated. Am I back? Just the way I, <laughs> I spun the camera around and I'm confused. I ended up going back the same way. Okay. Close fall. Mm -hmm. Ah, those are those are spiked walls which um, you bounce off. I thought it'd be cocky and just go across the top of the wall, but. You cannot. This is far too slow. <laughs> didn't double jump there, I was wanting him to, and he didn't. Sticky jump. Thank you. Three. Ah, oh, the spiky soundproofing. Um, it's all the way around. Nothing's moving with any urgency. The enemies don't appear to to move very far, if at all. Um, that was a good spot for the box achievement. There we go. Even the spike traps and the platforms and stuff, they hardly move. I know I've mentioned a few times on stream about um, oh, baby. wondering how difficult it would be to make a game and get it published on Xbox just to say I've done it. Um, I've got a feeling I could possibly do something <laughs> like this.
surely this isn't difficult to um, produce. Hey, East Asia Soft have picked it up to publish it. Maybe I could um, do some. Right, which way is the exit? Steam would have been better. Publishing a Steam game. It's probably a bigger audience, isn't it? Cheaper to publish and things as well, I believe. But we're all about the um, easy gamer score achievements. Stream achievements are the same. You're also the, the proud owner of this game now, Rob, so if, um, if this has um, titillated you to uh, play it, oh, then you can. Jump. This is tragic. Can I, oh look. I do like the cheese things if I can. <laughs> you can walk around the um, outer wall on this one. Oh, oh fuck. No. Box. I, I decided to try if the D-pad worked because I'd be able to do a more precise traverse. If you know what I mean. Um, and apparently D-pad controls don't work. And I just happened to stop in front of a cannonball. I didn't see it. Could have made this in Minecraft, I could have done. Wait, can I jump on this wall? Yes, I can. That makes things easier, doesn't it? These guys are killed. Yeah, sadly, I have played worse than this. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well done. Thank you, Sienna, for me falling back. I won't bash it too hard because I'm I have a pretty good relationship with Derek who made the game, so I don't want to burn bridges. That was them ones we hadn't killed, the blue ones. But yes, out of all the games he's produced up to now, I think this is probably Derek's worst one. There's a lot. Well done. Getting the money's worth out of the music track. Yeah, indeed. What are we doing for achievement of 500? Complete adventure mode now. Don't even really need the hammer at this point. <clears throat> oh, no, maybe I do. No. <laughs> Don't get cocky. Oh, 
I don't think you were on last stream, Steve. We were talking about um, the magic. It's called magic doors. I can't remember what the freaking game's called. That the um, game dev was having trouble patching it. Apparently, Microsoft weren't accepting their fixes, which I think we came to the conclusion was a load of bullshit. And said the only way they can fix it is recreate it. Oh, I don't know how I saved myself there. Recreating it in a new engine. Unity engine was the only way to fix it. Jesus, they managed to get the title update out all right. A couple of weeks before. How am I going here? Up there. Jesus. The levels are starting to escalate quickly. Thankfully, we can stand on this barrier. Oh, nearly fell in. Yes, um, is it old school games? I think they called out the um, put a tweet out. I think I did put it on Discord. I don't know if you saw it or not. Just stating that they um, tried to release another update to fix the, the bugs with the achievements, and Microsoft rejected it or something. Um, they're not accepting, is this the lava level? Not accepting their um, game build anymore, or some crap. And the only way they could fix it is produce it all again in Unity, so they said they're probably not going to bother and just concentrate on the next game instead. Which they're going to make in Unity. They don't have the funds to um, create Beyond Doors. I don't know if I was meant to jump over there, but we've done it. That was a quick level. Oh, baby. Telling meal with people at work who get on your tits. I take it you're just purely at that place of uh, work for the money rather than the, um, the banter. They seem to trigger when you walk past them. Well done. Tomato soup world. <laughs> it looks yeah, it does look more like tomato soup than larvae. Uh, oh my god. Uh which way is the exit? It's a little, little worrying that I can't see it. Um, yes, and it's over that way. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I have to get over there. Mm. Relatively short level if you know where you're going. I, I, I went on quite a lot of training courses early on in my career, um, but you do request them on your like annual staff review each year and nobody gives a shit. Nothing seems to happen anymore, so I ain't been anywhere for years. Yeah, I've been there. Christmas meals and shit, and just sat on a table full of autistic IT people. And... Social interactions aren't really our forte, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, no!
Oh no. Condescending or not. So it would have been I would have liked to use the D-pad to be a lot sharper turning. Balancing, teetering on the edge. Too far. It's the end. Well done. <clears throat> to show up for about ten G's all week in the bad back. Ten G's. I'd happily take a bad back for 10 G's a week. <laughs> it's all about this. I find the fixed camera's good for jumping and manoeuvring about. Just you can't see what's in front of you. I prefer it zoomed out a little, but I don't think you can. Which way are we? Just to be right. It's not really taxing. Well done. It's more of a. Oh, 10 G's, 10 gamer score. I thought you meant 10 grand? A week's work. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck you're on? Doing, you're making sure you get one a day. You've done like two, five G's or something. It does seem a little odd that they set the achievements to like 10 coins or something. When this level, I'm going to pick up like nearly 50 freaking coins. Tempting fate there. Thinking I'd just be able to walk off. Oh, baby. Oh, 106 coins. The iron cage. Oh, that's certainly an iron cage, all right. that you reckon? Now reach that. <laughs> Hang on. He can. He can. I think if that spins around that attempt to fit uh, jump in this way as well. And then jump in here. Kind of makes a sham of the platform and but you are a winner need more games with achievements on mobile yeah I was expecting candy crush by now since they've now got king I thought it would have been one they'd want to get out of the door pretty quickly because um, you could you could whack a lot of microtransactions in it to buy power ups or skip levels or anything. I thought that would have been a winner on the game pass, but what do I know? I would certainly play it when I'm sat waiting for my son to swim or whatever. Oh, that was a piece of piss. Oh, baby. 
Yeah, it's out, but no chivos. Mm. Take it, we can't walk. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 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 I think I'm going to struggle to endure this run right now. We oh, oh, didn't even jump. No. I'm just trying oh. to cheese it at this point. Oh, Why is he not jumping? No. Jumps there when I want him to. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh ho, ho. it was well worth done. it. And the ending is. Could be to my right here. That in my Starting to get a little bit more cocky now. I've got a feel for the controls. I'm just fell in the lab. Uh, ending. Must be over. Oh, there it is in the book. could put me on spend over 100 pound on micro transactions and that would be popular. We're in the new area, we're in the tropics. Let's see the exit line. The, um, the water is pretty blinding, I'm not gonna lie. I guess the ending would have been it. Oh, well done. Well done. Very high. Complete the cloud level. I ain't going to jump that far, am I? What's the bonus levels like, Steve? The fact that you have to complete 301, was it? 3,000 or more? Can you just scroll down and pick that level, or do you have to actually work through 300 levels? Stop playing this level. As far as you've got. Don't have any nice framed walls to um, run around either on this one. I'll wait for the damn platforms. Oh, gee, I wasn't looking. Not there. Only had a quick 20 minutes on it. Fair enough, fair enough.
started watching that new uh, Netflix TV series, the Guy Ritchie one. The Gentleman. Oh, Only watched the first episode, like, but it seems um, pretty batshit. Enjoying what? Oh, no. Enjoyed the first episode, so I'm gonna watch some more, more of it tomorrow night. Oh, why is he not jumping? Can I just jump from here. Yes. You are a winner. I know. Thank you. It'd be one coin. Lost up the mutant. Uh, the ending's over there. Yeah, it's um, inherits uh, a big mansion, a country manor from his father, and um, there's a oh, there's weed in the basement of um, one of the farmhouses on his estate. And um, his dad was in with some right sorts, had agreements with them and stuff that they could use the the farm and farmhouse and stuff. Then it's on pretty much a cliffhanger the first episode, making you want to watch a bit more. So. But it's uh, it's very out there, lock stock kind of. I never actually watched the Gentleman film, so I don't know if it's close to that, but it's a typical kind of lock stock snatch over the top kind of thing. Is the flag in this fucking box and I don't have the hammer? That's where I started. Oh, that way. There's the hammer. Should be a jump across there and come straight back. to see the film it's cracking crack I like him well I'm watching the TV series before the film but well, Mike you just finished it any good there's a work colleague that's been watching it he said he's like six episodes in and gets better so that can only be a good thing right So I'll watch another one or two episodes tomorrow night on me off, me off stream. And, um, I'll try and get it completed before the Fallout TV series comes out in April. Because that looks pretty good from the clips and stuff I've seen as well. I am quite a big Fallout fan, so looking forward to seeing it. It was pretty over the top in the first episode. Oh, fucking chicken suit and bare knuckle boxing. And all that shit that was going on. You are a winner. Oh. Mm. 
you separated the platforms a lot more in these levels. I can't actually uh, sneakily jump to the other side. Then. been watching that um, Shogun as well, is it? A Game of Thrones set in Japan or whatever. Heard good things about that, but not seen that yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. not very often I can find something that I'm interested in that the missus will quite happily sit and watch and the main character's a bit of eye candy so she was like oh this looks interesting like, yeah is it no wonder why that is another reason why she watched um, Reacher with us A ripped, a ripped baboon. Oh, what the hell! As if I'm back to the start. Sick. Well, I've got another 20 minutes of this. Let's see how far we get. That's, that's not very fun. There's a hammer that way, that's kind of completely pointless. That's not going to help me out with this situation, is it? So... There is a checkpoint there. I'll happily take that, just in case. Could have done with one before the jumps. Bit weird that it's like three jumps away from the um, ending. Anyway, Alan Richardson, that's that's the block. There's a lot of rumors of people wanting him to be the next Batman, but I don't think it'll happen. Eh? I'll tell you that just in case there was a box in there. So. Oh. There is Frankie traps. We'll take the high road, fuck it. And can we jump there? I'm curious to oh, I didn't double no. jump. I think I probably could have made it with a double jump. It's a long way to go back to try it out, like, isn't it? checkpoints I'll just I'll just go the legit legit ish way around Hang on, I didn't realize it was this long <laughs> didn't realize what I signed up for It was going to be this long, I probably would have attempted the jump. No checkpoints again. Oh, baby. Somebody's found cheats. Derek, why didn't you tell me the cheats? I have a level select. I'm scared to fucking back out. As if this cheats. It's usually the case for these games. And Derek, you're really good at telling. Nobody's mentioned anything on um, TA. Which Bozo's got the five minute completion on here? 
Nobody's got a five minute completion. 50 minutes is the quickest. Why has he mentioned it? Oh, I don't know. They discovered super fast achievement method. Congratulations. Platinum in five minutes. There's a PlayStation guide. Let's see if it's the same as the Xbox one. It's foreign, so I don't know if I can. I... It's German. Who sure said hammer cunt? Ah, oh, fuck off. Just there's a level select. Fucking hell, all the levels are unlocked. All oh, these are the ones I've done. What? Uh, do you just do the fucking first level of each thing? It's icy swamps unlock, even though I haven't finished the fucking clouds. Jesus Christ. So you do this level and it unlocks all the fucking levels. Can I make that? He doesn't jump! <laughs> He's going to be kicking himself after spending an hour and a half or whatever it was. So. You are a winner. How did you do that? So we go back to main menu adventure and all the ice unlocked. No. What's true? Saying up, 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 down, left whilst in options on a second controller while swing. <laughs> it looked like he was just doing the first level and then going to level selecting. It is in German, so I don't understand what he's fucking saying, mate. But. Didn't this, did not do. Oh, auto translate. Want it in English, don't know. Oh, he's not doing that at all. Foxy. Eh? Go back to the menu, and then we'll continue here with create. I don't get it. So he actually just goes to level creation after that. I don't know if the platinum trophies are different. How do we play it? Don't want to do either of those things. I 
Ah, oh, they've triggered a blue. Does that need to be on a block or something? The interface on this is cack. Um, how the fuck do you... You have to save an exit to play the damn thing. Have you finished your build? Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Sandstone. I didn't see him get the achievement for completing adventure mode. And it doesn't seem to have the title update on the um, PlayStation. So I don't know. Can you go right to the bottom to adventure? Last level? We're coming up to time on this anyway, so. Nope. Doesn't unlock the next level, does it? Uh, that'll be why. So he doesn't do bonus levels and he doesn't do um, complete adventure mode. So on PlayStation, you literally just have to do the um, five kills, ten coins. And then all he did was build a level on each area. It's a desert, lava, yada yada. But obviously that is not the case on the uh, Xbox, sadly. Well done. Yeah, PlayStation seems to get multiple versions of Platinums, don't they, for the same game? It seems, seems a bit weird. I know Xbox gets a lot of stick for easy completions, but from what I've seen, it's a lot worse on the PlayStation. But it never gets mentioned. You are a winner. I guess saying you've got a hundred platinums doesn't quite have the kick of saying I've got three million gamer score, does it? Oh, does it? It doesn't. Uh, when Sphinx said there was a five minute completion, I thought, what? I thought there would be some sort of cheat code or something I could put in. Yeah, Derek just retweeted a five minute completion on the PlayStation, which doesn't quite marry up with this. Sadly. Oh, fuck oh, no. off. <laughs> Oh, the fucking start. I wish I could just move on to the bonus levels, but... We're not lucky as the PlayStation players. We do have to endure the full hour and a half, whatever it is, completion. Jumper this time. I'm hoping the last two games of the evening are going to be slightly better than um, the first two. Anyway.
Just warm it up for the better stuff. Yeah, the a lot of the Rattled games do have stacks, Mike, I've seen. So when I when I request um, Rattled codes, you get like a drop down of what game code you want. And Xbox just has the one Xbox Global, but the drop down has like PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation various freaking PlayStation stacks. Like, oh well. Oh, I he ain't fucking jumping. Like Steve mentioned, the bit of a soft jump lock type thing on it. PSP and language. Really a PSP stack? Let me take the piss. I should just go around. Oh. The jump is balls. I'm tempted to stand, see if I can stand on the... Oh, no, you can't stand no. on the bushes. <laughs> that would have been handy. I would have just... Um, Leap padded across. Ah, fuck it. We'll do it the way it wants it to do. Do, 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 do. So although I'm not streaming tomorrow night, um, if Mike and True do want to do a little bit of... Um, Hiya Derek, how are you doing? Sphinx was just telling me there was a quick five minute completion video that you'd uh, retweeted, so... I just had a quick look at it and um, I realised that the PlayStation guys don't have the Adventure Mode achievement in there, so it's not quite five minutes for us, but... point to uh, see where the ending was. Well done. But yes, although I'm not streaming tomorrow night, if True and Mike want to progress a little bit on um, Frontier, like you Frontier, don't mind um, jumping in for a bit. If you guys and to round off or whatever, I'll just pop it around in there. The base, getting some more iron and copper and stuff that we need to progress a little bit. I can't, I've got plenty of other things to play. Got um, dr the drug cartel, tycoon, cartel tycoon to play. I was enjoying that. Um, can we chance it? If you've seen it, forget about level achievements by and yeah, but um, Xbox has complete adventure mode. I take it you can't do that in the level creator. Or can you? Is the way to cheese it, Derek? Have you got some insider tips? I noticed the place. Oh, I think Steve said the PlayStation doesn't have the, um... Stood in, stopped in the worst place possible. The PlayStation doesn't have the that achievement or trophy, so... You and bonus, yeah. So we've got bonus... Bonus levels to do, and we've got, um... Adventure complete, which I presume there isn't um, a quick way of completing that on the Xbox. Unless you're going to tell me otherwise. I've got the man that's created the game in here. I should be able to get some inside information. Oh, baby. It was the publisher that added the achievements. The bastards. So East Asia Soft, oh, oh, no. East Asia Soft have decided that uh, we have to do the full game. 
which is which is perfectly fine we get to enjoy your um, beautiful creation at its fullest oh i didn't double jump <laughs> Is the right way, isn't it? Yes, it is. Why is he not double jump? Did you not use um, East Asia software for the PlayStation publishing? Why is he not double jumping all of a sudden? Maybe I'm too high. Yeah, that was, I think that was it. I could have made it round just the normal way by now, I think. Yeah. Oh, he says. <clears throat> yeah, what's, what's the next game in the pipeline, Derek? Is it something you've already got published on Steam by any chance or is it one that's already out there? Well done. We've still got the desert level to, or devil's desert zone to go through. Probably get up to the desert bit and then we'll move on to our next game. Um, retouring. Can I make that jump? Mm. Tempted, you know. Oh. Another game's been submitted for publication. Are you allowed to say anything about it, Derek? Oh. Is it a platformer, a shooter, a driving game? <clears throat> All right, Desert Sands. That takes us up to the two hour mark. So we have played um, Master Maker Builder 3D for um, an hour there. We've got the base, well, we've got 8,000 game score. We've still got the tight look there to do by the looks of it. Ah, I didn't. Uh, I've just. It's just clicked that the um, complete adventure mode is the tight look there, isn't it? I see. So the base one thousand you can do in five minutes. It's only just clicked now. I recommend turn off the music. <laughs> you don't like your own music. <clears throat> We're jumping on our next one, um, Derek. Although I'd love to continue on while um, you're in the chat. We have been playing it for an hour and I'm, I'm giving each of the indie titles um, their fair share of an hour each. So the next one up was um, Retouring from Sometimes You, which has a triple stack. Um, this is out on the 29th of March, so nine days away, just over a week. If you buy it on the Xbox One, first of all, you get 50% off the other two stacks. So a stack for Xbox One, a stack for Xbox Series S and X, and then a stack for Windows. Oh, 
on this if you like logic puzzles. It depends what kind of logic puzzles there are. Uh, keep hold to carry. Just a case of finishing all the levels. Buy all drinks from the vending. Oh, there's a bit more to it. Listen to one of the record players in the game. Try and open 15 locked doors. Complete the game. Solve two puzzles in a room in the wrong order. Up into the water. Does it have level select or anything true? Any missables or anything? There's an achievement for sitting down. An Xbox Series E. Considering it's um, wide open, it's very well kept inside. Can interact with that. It said my name there for a second. Level select you after beating the game, alright, fair enough. Money well spent. Two achievements off the bat. Let's do a record, lock doors. Jump into water. Can hear water. Can you jump? Computer center. Guess it has to be different doors. If they stay as simple as this, I'll be fine. He says as he can open the door. There must be the locked doors, aren't they? You gotta solve that one first, then open this one and walk around. Thank you, yeah, thank you. What? Thought that was ticking because it was open. Ah, I go from the other side. Idiota. Ah, oh, we've got to charge the battery as well. Wonder what the hell was ticking. It was that thing. 
when he got stuck on one level that was 45 minutes we stuck on it for 45 minutes seems too easy compared to the last one It's a bit like portal without portals. Oh, you can ask for hints. Let me sit down. Um. I should have been stood on that. And I need to make them all blue. I have to re reset that. Yeah. I'm just going to reset the whole puzzle. In terms of, yeah, going through it like a bit of a lab type thing. I know what you mean. A few vendor machines, so if you did miss the cans, you can get them elsewhere. Door. A bit odd that way. Orange it is. Read cup. Too sure that means. Read color. If it's blue, yeah, I get it. If it's blue, make it blue. If it's red, make it red. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> if it's blue, make it orange. And then look up. Probably some sort of IQ test. Um, red is orange. Orange is orange, and red is blue. I'm again. Look, I don't know. I'm, getting, I'm confusing myself by. Um, Good at the wrong sequences. <laughs> Uh, we doing bugger bear? Oh yeah. I see, I see. That was an achievement for playing this, wasn't it? Click on the pattern and you don't have to keep glancing on it. Click on it. Ah! Helpful. It's not really the one I want to memorise though. This. I can get them all. <coughs> Be confused now. Put them all on the top screen. Um, so red. You can do one at a time, so uh, if you see red, I don't know if you see blue, make it red, and if you see orange, make it orange. 
back one's blue though. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, you can stop it, I know. Um. Get across and then it's gonna fill that one in. What the bar? We'll try that door. We'll wait till someone other than Welsh doing a guide I'd rather roll through all three stacks. Yeah, I think I saw Dwaggy pulling it up earlier on, so I'd be surprised. Dwaggy's not doing a guide for it. Um, that button do move to the, the point to the right. Don't move the point. <clears throat> I'll start in the middle. A bit confusing, but... to be blue and black. Orange, overcomplicating it for myself. Make it blue. It's... If it's orange, make it red. Was it? Good night, Steve. Have a good one. Um, good luck with the ventures at work tomorrow if you are around doing meetings and shit. Let's see how far we're getting an hour on this. How long did it take you, True, out of interest? Apologies if you did say and I didn't see. Nice, nice mix of puzzles. I can't take those with three of you. Um, so I guess this one's to pause and we make it blue. There's another puzzle on the other side, but. And this will be the point we need it. The 
Alright. Um, so orange. It's gotta be red. That's a little more, a little bit more confusing. Two hours thirty, forty-five minutes on one level. I'm getting there already. I think. Um. Yeah, you just want it all red, don't you? I know you don't. Hang on. That goes left once. That goes back. Achievement. Endless fun. Create me first endless loop. Easy, wasn't it? I wonder if it's either way around. Watch your key puzzles in school. So if it hits a red, it goes right. It makes it red. Uh, mm. Probably wants to go left. I keep looking at that. It's this it needs to um, correspond with. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um that's what's done in the whole field. This is gonna be a bit of a headache later on, isn't it? It's like a panel over there as so well. What's this? matters um what was I've just played the ID for I think you just change that to yeah or just change that to blue to make it red and that do it you can't stop it though I get down before the fuck do I get down? <coughs> ah, I 
could get this stuff, couldn't I? We got there in the end. Room number nine. I keep trying to pick up those things. Oh, orange. Let's see. So, if it's red, it's red. Make it orange. jam that in the door. You don't want to be blue. So if it's orange. the question uh, you probably gonna have to put both lots in at the same time right yes so if it's red make it orange if it's orange make it bleh by the other way I think you're a little bit behind the stream, which is fine. I did, I did figure it out. I did figure it out. Thank you, True. Thank you. Um, that's pretty much what's set, isn't it? What happens if you just leave them both still? Do they do the out ones themselves? I'm so if I change blue to sorry, orange to blue. That's gonna work on it. Orange to blue. But if I Move it. Ah, so, oh. it's moving the red one around, isn't it? Don't make it red. It's a bit of a head hook. Um, I 
You're now obeying you. So it's gonna start. Can't really be, can it? Start open. It doesn't, does it? I don't know them start open. It does, but I don't want to fucking get up there quite quick. <laughs> nope. What's done from this side of the screen? Um. Go right. Take it. Will it come back eventually? That no, doesn't bounce back. <laughs> this little bastards take my ad revenue away. <laughs> what do you think about going? <laughs> Um, make orange, orange, make orange, blue. So confusing. Um, wrong I can make them change quick but I haven't moved up very quick does it start oh. so if it's orange go left and make it orange if it's red Red one or in red one blue. <coughs> Those fifteen minutes was all ads. Um I'm a bit um head blanked already. It starts orange anywhere. So if it's don't need a painted orange, do I? So if it's orange, paint it. And then move left.
And then if it's red, paint it blue, move right. Then I'll... That boots you back to the start of the stream. Yes. Just in case you want to watch the um, beginning over and over again. I ain't got very far, have I? Um, if it's blue, paint it red. If it's blue, paint it orange. If it's orange, paint it blue. Buy me any time whatsoever. If it's orange, paint it blue, paint it, paint it orange, and move left. If you see red, I'm fucking stumped. Take long, did it? Um, ba, 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 ba. Logic puzzles obviously ain't my thing. It's got to start orange. Red, make it blue. If it's blue, make it red. Still on. Um, you do need to start on orange, obviously. It's one thing. It's instantly going to shut the door. Uh,
Wait, it doesn't have enough fucking... Oh, dear me. Sit down in the chair now, ain't it, I think. Don't need to move the pointer at all. One is enough. That's probably where I'm going now. I've written blue before. I have to read. Oh, you can just get it to solve. How? <laughs> you mean to say I don't need to solve any of these? <laughs> You can make a guide quite easily, couldn't you? That's good to know. So I'm alright in thinking I can just sit in this chair and go hint. Hint. I know it kind of defeats the, um, the fun of the game, if... You could just do that, but... Something's missing. You didn't solve this bit. <laughs> the lift's still up. Slightly flawed the um, solve thing, isn't it? I don't think that door ever opened at all. There's hints and there's a soul, so it did the last room for me no bother, but for this room it seems to be struggling. For some reason. Um read colour red. solving the first bit it doesn't solve the second bit it is hard oh unless you do sit in the other seat to do the other side and then you saw the other chairs hang on is that a thing i just need to give you a hint in this one maybe that chair on this side now oh I think it did I get you I get you I get you we can do this relatively quickly without uh, there's the 15 doors done um there's only one solution It's 
taken me like 40 minutes to work out there was a, a solve button. But know what you're doing for the two stacks if there's a way I'm gonna find it if there's a will there's a way I'm sure that's now set the buttons up correctly so I can just let it open the door Is that gonna work? yeah we get it we get it now I'm getting how the this is how the hints work but This one doesn't need a hint. Now we've got a chair. I played the entire game and didn't find the hints. It doesn't tell you. I did see them when we first came in because I sat down. And um, it came up with a hint, and I pressed it. I didn't realise you could get multiple hints until just now. It's not obvious which side is... You, you're a madman for doing all this without any um, guidance, like, what a hero. Seat. There's like a white dot to tell you where you need to sit for the hints. It's too late in the evening for me to um, tax myself with this. I guess I'd have to stand on lifts. On the bar. It's going to be the miscellaneous achievements, isn't it? Solve level 15 with only three rules. I want them are on my own. I can't get back out now, can I? Solve puzzles in a room in the wrong order. Jump in the water. Um, it's a seat. It's not the one with the hint. This one's the one with the hint. <coughs> Six instructions. Okay. How's that button from? Be going somewhere down this way. Um, don't like the hole, I hold, I think I prefer it toggle. So there's an achievement for 15 there. Solve 15 with only three rules, so it obviously doesn't... It hasn't solved that for me with three rules. It's used more than three rules, so... You may potentially need a guide for the miscellaneous ones. Be a little chair for me to sit in. You can change it in the options toggle. Oh, for the pickup thing, yeah. I, I did see, that's why I'm kind of mentioning I, sh I, could, I should really change it. It's hard to look around with the um, analog stick, isn't it, while you're holding something with the air. 
Oh shit, I've inverted me. I've done that. Um, I did sit down and do it, didn't I? Oh, we've got 15. 13. No, I should have been stood on that. I doesn't open the door, though. Is that meant to open the door? Or did you get off of the lift? Hang on. These are... These are mental. I am well impressed you've done these through with um without any guidance. I was struggling on what was it, ten? It's not done it. Ah, suppressed. Uh, there. That's the that's way easier. Stutters to allow time. I'd be tempted to do a guide on this. Go to the other side. How's this the pool that you? What's the achievement? There was an achievement for going in water. Go up to the other side and sit down. No, I don't think there was anything on that side. It's a little circle. Cool. Lasers. Create the circuit. Mm -hmm. It, it did pop, it was just delayed. A rather lengthy delay. Um, so we've got one hint on each side. I think we'll start this side by the looks of it. Uh, <clears throat> this is obviously done in two parts. How are you doing, Paul? I maybe started on the wrong side of her. Out of order, but achievement for doing it in the wrong order. That's one way of getting that achievement. Guess I'm grabbing this cube when it flies out the door. <clears throat> no. Sure what I'm meant to be doing with it yet. Um, I think it can do with the sensitivity a bit high, it's a bit stiff. The beams break the streams. Nineteen. Um, one seat there. One seat there. Looks like we need the block first. So I guess it's this side.
think we need the block first. Bring me back. Oh, I just dropped down. No one. Section next. I've got to block the beam with this ladder. Let's pick it up. Ah, I to do this one more time by the looks of it. One more time. Set this. I'm gonna one more time. Take a cube with us, why not? And you carried out? Be cheeky if you can. Would have been useful. Um, hmm. a lot going on through here. What's that controller? <coughs> Nothing by the looks. That was luck. Didn't even know that I was going to do that, but <laughs> perfectly timed. Seat. We do do one or two more puzzles and then um, I think I call time. Have a ship. I don't know if he figured that out true. <laughs> I'm not left a bit there, I'm not. Oh, he's got through. How many levels is that? I mean, well, you'll know, but. 25. At least. How many seats? He's got the one seat. There's a lot of rooms. We'll need uh, some sort of power for that. Some light source. Twenty six. Hmm. So not far off. Where is the miscellaneous achievements which I may need um, to either figure out myself or find guidance elsewhere. Depends how lazy I feel. Ah, get it. Gotta use, gotta sacrifice that cube to push that one down. Okay. 
It makes sense. I did do what, 12 or more puzzles. Legit. Charge and then lift me back. It's too big for this shit. I'm only on 22. Shall we leave it there? Got another four to go. But, oh. Ah, no, I think Stun Paradise is going to be a quick one, isn't it? So let's wing it. Let's see if we can't get the. Um, the majority of the game done. I just have to funny around with the miscellaneous ones off stream. Don't know. Another city. I'm surprised you didn't notice these true. After 45 minutes on one puzzle, I would have been looking for <laughs> looking for a way out. in that hole in front of me. We have another chair. Do I have to charge that somehow? We don't have a chair. Oh, we do have a chair. We have two chairs. in this thing. Really? I'm going to go back now. This probably won't work with some. Probably balls something up. I don't know. We've got fucking laser beams here. I think the idea was to get you gradually closer to the... Um, thing on it. I've reset him. I can press the play. This is the 45 minute one. Apologies true if I'm gonna lick through here. <laughs> In a couple of minutes. I can only imagine it's a little bit painful oh, to watch. There isn't a hint. Ah. So you would have to solve solve that one. Look at the state and all that, man. No hint? No. Bastards. You bastards. Do the miscellaneous ones at the end so we have documented it. Looking for an easy way out. Even if somebody had produced a guide that um, 
I don't think I was about to touch that, was I? Very quick. Yeah, I think even if somebody produces a guide showing you the solutions to each room, this is going to still be the far quickest way of just putting them all in quickly without any fucking about. I don't see why you wouldn't use that. It's a bit slow there. Just constantly going backwards and forwards. Just. Ah, oh, it's two buttons. Didn't seem to be the button. So you just gonna keep pressing them and top them up till it's fully across. Okay, I get it. I get it. Makes perfect sense. Seats, do we have just the one? Okay, we send pulse to one hour. Wait for this button to light up. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? It's a little bit too quick. I have a hint. This must have been a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Why is this one not moving? Is it too slow? Ah, I put the fucking box. <laughs> As if there was something I needed to do. Sensitivity needs to be high, doesn't it? I can't turn around quick enough. Um, surely higher the better, isn't it? Yeah. I'm running out of time now. I would have been able to turn around and get out. Oh, 
Confetti. I wonder if there's cake in there. Well, we move on to Stunt Paradise then. I do have a couple of miscellaneous ones. Well, quite a few miscellaneous to tidy up. Solve them with just a certain amount of rules and then work out what we need for the flavoured drink. I'll spend some time off stream doing that. Cool. I think that could be quite a quick completion if you know what you're doing. The miscellaneous ones, I think. If I had to guess sub sub half an hour, you could do that. Easy. Right, uh Stunt Paradise. I've been sat on Stunt Paradise for about a fortnight, so I have been um Where's she at? I've been itching to jump on it. Ah, I thought I was looking at me full live room now. So from Brian Media, thank you for the code. I'm hoping this is going to be a quick completion this evening. One of them has to be, surely. Quick look at the achievements. Complete the... Oh, it's just, just levels. 20 levels, first 20 levels. We can do that, we can do that. I can send you the solutions tomorrow if you'd like. I recorded all my gameplay. Um, if there isn't anything already documented true, that would be helpful, yeah. Just to the miscellaneous stuff. And I may possibly do a guide if... If nobody else has already got one out. Because the joys of um, guide making is get something out first. It certainly is if you're small fry. If somebody else has got a guide out, you're going to uh, drive backwards. You're just going to get lost in the ether. Currently just holding right trigger. Haven't actually pressed anything else. Still haven't pressed anything else. I just say drive backwards. I wasn't paying attention. flip around and then have to drive backwards to press the button yes jump over tilts tilts quite heavily pedal to the metal am I still controlling it? I am still controlling this is pretty fun I think the cat, the um, coins are probably just for car unlocks, cosmetics perhaps. Feels a lot easier than the um, zombie derby games. 100G. Obviously it's had a tight look date, so... I'm guessing the base 1000 was just... Um, get to level 10 and then or maybe 15 missed that one and then there has been a tight look date out for this already so it's 2000 I'm guessing they've just added another five levels over the top in it a bit like those trials um HD games the motorbikes Yeah, I need to put copyright twat or whatever they put on them these days so people 
presume we're going backwards. It worked. It's getting a little easier now, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, getting the money's worth out of it. They've done zombies, they're doing stunts now. The zombie derby games, you did have to kind of control your throttle so you didn't run out of gas and you did have to shoot certain zombies, whereas this is just acceleration all the way and a little bit of tilting here and there and maybe a reverse once in a while but it's a little bit more child friendly shall we say looks impressive I ain't doing much cops wanted to see this one this is out tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, Friday, one of the two. Going backwards now. Thankfully, you can go the same speed backwards as you can forwards. It does look like it's going to be a quick completion, though. I will have some spare time at the end of the stream. I think I was meant to break. Guess accelerating from the start doesn't work. That does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <coughs> he just downloaded the quarry as well. has been the trickiest bit up the now. Nah, it's, it is going to fall over, I wonder what the hell. It's like I don't have enough supposed to star behind me. May add achievements for stars, who knows? But looking at the current achievements, I'm guessing it's just going to be level based, so the next title update will be get to level 25. Nice little cash cow. There we go. What with all the puzzle solutions? <laughs> Don't say did all the puzzle solutions. Has he put one out? Draggy does do guides, yeah. Draggy likes doing the puzzle ones. Yeah, Draggy's done more than me, I think. Fucking hell. What are you two like? Always explore your surroundings. I did think these puzzles are fucking hard. How is anybody going to be able to work them out? And then I did notice there was a hint thing on the chair, so I milked it. And the, init the initial clue it gave me wasn't particularly very good, so... Is it is it wrong to um, use Dwaggy's solution to <laughs> get the miscellaneous? <laughs> ones and then uh, me just suggest people use the autocomplete and shave like 10 minutes off his time is that is that naughty 
That's a bit not using it. Considering how much time he's probably spent on that. Here's me waltzing in. Oh, just sit on the sofa and press A. Does it for you? I don't know you get that star. I guess you don't knock down the... Um, cargo container. Yeah, corpse druggy. Um... There's quite a lot of guides. They're all, pre they're all pretty good. And um, he does like his puzzlers, so you'll find him doing a lot of puzzle guides. Um, my guides are literally just within the past year or so, so I don't have that many. Well, hey, how strong is that barrel? Well, I sat my ass down on the bench outside the seat achievement, so I wouldn't get both the seats. True. I sat on them anyway. Because they had like a little white circle above them. Like, there was some reason to interact with them, so... That's partially why I wanted to sit on them. See what the hell that was, and lo and behold, it was um, some sort of tip, Hint. and then a solution finally. I was worried that I would have to go through and um, work shit out for myself, but it is a sometimes you game, so it wasn't going to be too taxing, was it, for a triple stack? What's going on here? My son might like this game, actually. It's visually pleasing and um, it's not at all taxing. You might like to mess around on it. Used to do guides on the 360 but stopped due to ungrateful bastards. I've always wanted to do something in gaming. I initially wanted to do live streaming, but could never get any viewers in. So I then did go to YouTube and... I was like, eh, some of these guides are a little bit lacking, or some of these guides um, could have been worded better. And I was like, oh, I think I could do a better job than some of them, so... I didn't realise how much work it took to um, produce a guide, so... To make a good guide anyway, you could easily throw... I didn't bounce very well then. You could easily throw out something shit within a couple of minutes and... ...say it's done, but... This game should be a stack. Nah, Brian never... It's got a Windows stack. I was going to say he never does a stack, but he does... He always does um, Xbox and Windows, so... I do have... I need to slow down a bit. I do have both um, platforms. So I'll probably do the Windows stack tomorrow or something. I don't like playing them off stream unless I'm doing the indie. Thing. So if I'm doing an indie showcase, I like to at least miss that star. But I like to give you my first impressions. I don't like to have played them already. Jesus. I guess it's scripted. Yeah, absolutely detest using game guides. I know sometimes you need them, but I tend to use them as like a last resort. You might think it weird being a guide creator, or have been a guide creator. It's almost like, um, 
accepting defeat using a guide. Well, that's how I feel anyway. Look at that star. Reverse. So I try my hardest not to use a guide, but I then look at that two ring puzzle game and getting some of the miscellaneous achievements. I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to spend hours trying to work it out. Somebody else done it. This is a bit of a weird level. It's amped it up slightly. Was it nine? Level eight or nine? I don't think I need to get the stars. Okay, what did that want me to do? Back left, was it? It seemed to be faster than that. Though. Just. Oh yes, of course, there's, a, there's an aircraft going across the top of the bridge. I'm going to run over the cop cars. Oh no, he's going to smash through. I'm going to ramp over the next set of cop cars. And a helicopter. I'm going to take the helicopter out. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. If you don't have much free time, you can't spend these additional half an hour's hours trying to figure stuff out yourself. You just want to get through a completion as quickly as quickly as possible. Yeah, that does make sense, Corpse. I totally get what you're saying. Star underneath. Backwards. Controls are just go and break and um, like tilt with the left stick. So you can right yourself if you do backflips and stuff. Similar to the um, zombie derby games. But yeah. Right trigger to accelerate, um, left trigger to brake or reverse, and um, just the analog stick to move around, I'm not doing anything else. You don't need to shoot or anything in this, so... Very simplistic. Eighty-five percent guideless. Oh yeah, the um, visual novels. I tend to be, well, certainly in the past year or so, I've been a sucker for getting them early before anybody's got guides out, or like example today, the Steam guides, but the Steam guides don't quite marry up with the Xbox achievements or something like that. So I get like a partial guide out of the Steam, Steam ones, which helps me create a full guide. And, There's a few that I've like produced before anybody else and had the, like the first solution out for it. Now it's on me back. And people have just copied and pasted it and not given me any credit. Which is a bit shocking. Like. Last, last one being that reality, I don't know what it's called, something reality, edge of reality. So I was the first person to put a guide out for that with text guide as well and then it was soon copy and pasted from bigger people. They got double, triple the numbers, probably even more than um, that I'd received so I was like yay! Just copy and pasted my um, hours of work. 
knock something out in um, a couple of minutes. Thank you for that. Thank you. I have to reverse on this one. Bit of a physics-y, not oh, too short. Physics-y style game. Rub the line upside down. I like the visual novels <laughs> when you can just skip everything. They're nice and easy. This is going to be um, a fairly lengthy completion for um, Brian, isn't it? The zombie derby games are shorter. Because you can usually do the zombie derby games in um, like one or two levels, can't you? Just rinse and repeat the same level. At least on this one, you are actually seeing a little bit of content. Look what he's created. I wonder where I was going to go there. It's like, what? Well, I'm going to do another loop the loop. Yeah, so the likes of that one. Is that meant to happen? It wasn't meant to happen. There is a harpoon gun there. Was I meant to do something with the harpoon gun? Hang on, should we go back to the menu? What, what, why am I collecting all these coins? the most expensive you got oh lightning look um this on skyline surely just cosmetics please guy Level 12? Yeah, so that flower shop one, um, I've got a vague idea of what the character... Did I say stat? There was a mention of picking the stat day for it. And um, looking at the guide, if you have a date with one of the other people puts the stat up on your character or something to unlock more dialogue options that's that's, that's what i'm guessing that's what i vaguely got from it <clears throat> so when it was saying stat day i was picking um the gardening ah that's what you do press that button and um I should have been going to the opposite match or person. So I think like Steve's was Ryan, so I was meant to be having dates with Ryan when trying to court Steven, if that makes sense. I should get harpooned this time. <laughs> That's pretty funny. If the music's copyrighted, what do you reckon? Star there, but okay. Being quite aggressive with um, the copyright, not strikes, but warnings, but they demonetize your videos. I literally challenge everything now. I used to edit. Um, Edit the audio out or mute the audio. Fuck it. Nobody seems to be bothered. Um, so you just challenge it saying, um, what's it called? Free usage. It's not the right word for it, but you know what I mean.
Hmm. There's certainly a lot of me live streaming and stuff, but I'm actually talking over it. Commentating commentating next to it. The hell? So I just state it's background music in a game. And um, I challenge it and certainly in the last couple of months everything I've challenged it's been accepted. I can't remember what game it was lately but there was one that had like several different songs in. It had loads of copyright hits on it. And Challenged them all, saying it was creative freedom, what the hell, the hell it's called. And, um... They either time out, nobody responds within 30 days, which goes in your favour and they just stop, allow you to monetize the video. Or, within a couple of days, people are just like, yeah, he's only playing a video game, he's not actually, um... Just pasting our music and trying to make money off it. I've never had one of them come back and say, nope, it's copyright. If you ever get any of that shit on your videos, true, you probably do on some of them. Um, the Outright Games ones, for example. Um, which one was it? Baby Shark was one, there was another one I can't remember. Was it the Transformers game? I'm going to go back and see. I just challenged them. Freedom of... <laughs> Creative... I can't, I can't remember what the fucking word is. I do have a, a template wrote down that I keep using. Some chat, Jack GTP template. <clears throat> Seems to work every time. Mm, pen and paper and a float chart would be pretty good. I tend to just write down what solutions I've selected, or choices I've selected. The flow chart's probably a better way of doing it. Yeah, got one copyright strike from Goth, literally playing something for like 30 seconds, wasn't it, if that? I just muted that out because it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily part of what I was live streaming, so I was quite happy just to mute that 30 seconds. But I could have challenged that because I was only playing 30 seconds of a, a song that was in um, Pause or Horizon. I think I would have been let off with that. Let's see if we get the speed up here. Get over this. It's better. This is probably going to take me close to an hour. I've allocated the time between the games pretty well this evening. We got a good hour on each. Hopefully, a 2,000 game score completion on this one. Yeah, outright are pretty good with the gate, the claims. They had that spell where you could email them. Yeah, cool. Yeah, link to your content and they'd sort it out. But I'm back this
Boom. There's a few copyrighted videos that I've left copyrighted. I've never challenged. These were very early doors when I was um, pissing around with YouTube making videos. There's like a Marvel scene where um, Baron Zemo's dancing in a nightclub and it, the actual sequence is only like 20-30 seconds long or something, the actual TV show, but I've edited it out to make it the full length of the song that was playing in the background and that is the full length of that copyrighted song so I, was, I wasn't cheeky enough to say creative rights or whatever the hell it's called on that one I just left it as is the copyright me the video has agreed it will remain unlisted until it get rid of the clear you don't monetize. A fire alarm side sound effect in a game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could afford that one. There's a couple of videos. It was my one million live stream i didn't bother trying to monetize that at all i just left that off you still get the copyright hits like but that's because i played the avici um avici game for a couple of hours so i was playing loads of avici songs and all that shit's copyrighted of course i didn't even bother i knew i was gonna get hit with loads of stuff but you still get the emails saying, no, you can't monetize it. So I'm like, yeah, it's not monetized. Go away. This is fun, though. Nice and chilled. The law does need to catch up with the world. You've got, like... People on TikTok doing 30 second, one minute videos and um, all the background music is like licensed songs and stuff and I'm pretty sure they don't get hit with um, copyright claims or anything. But heaven forbid you use like 30 seconds of music in a YouTube video and it's hello. Four levels to go. It's probably it's probably more so the um, the money corpse. If we can't monetize it, then where does the revenue go? But to YouTube. <laughs> Probably why they're doing so much better than um, Twitch are at the moment in terms of ad revenue and stuff. Obviously, Twitch has subs. Subs can then stop the adverts popping up, and I think in some cases you can just turn the ads pretty much up or off, off altogether. Ah, oh, fuck! You can't you can't seem to do that on YouTube. Let's push down your throat unless you buy the premium which isn't going to the creator it's going to YouTube I'm saying that you don't get a full sub do you on um, Twitch Twitch still do get 50% of everything you earn so obviously I've made um, I'm going there been on YouTube for pretty much a year solid doing guides and stuff pretty good um, pretty good ad revenue 
on average making about 150 a month um, and then I've moved to Twitch of course and doing pretty much full time live stream every night I can get on um, I've done it again <clears throat> doesn't make anywhere near as much as the ad revenue from uh, YouTube sadly but I am finding it um, less stressful With, um, with the YouTube side of things, I always felt like I was um, under a deadline. Because obviously the, a game would come out of embargo or it would be due to release. And if I don't put it out around that time, then um, nobody's going to see it. Oh, it's not going to get many views anyway. So I always had the urgency to get something out before anybody else. Fuck's sake, I'm muck this up. So I always wanted to be first one to get a guide out. So as soon as the embargo was up, say at midnight on a certain day or whatever, I wanted the guide out for that time. I felt if I left it any later, people weren't going to see it or people were going to get the guides from elsewhere. And So like um, this, for example, I'd have, a, have something already queued up, ready to go, ready for launch day. Midnight on the dot would be a guide out. You'd be competing with the likes of Dwaggy and Hidden Levels and True would probably done some content and some, I know a lot of yours of True were let, Let's Plays, weren't they? Um, that's what I paused up last time. But then you've got um, cheaters, cheater guides, and uh, Welsh Hunter. Welsh Hunter is more Game Pass games like. Achievement lands kind of dropped off. Chivo guides doesn't really do them anymore. He's more his collections. <clears throat> but if I didn't get something out early, it was never going to be seen. So I was under a little bit of pressure. Trying to get stuff out on time, and you get a backlog of games. You spend like several hours on this one a night, several hours on that. And... I was fine, it's stressful. Whereas Twitch, I can just jump on, stream half a dozen games. That's uh, fulfilled the agreement with the publisher that. You've covered the game in some way. What am I doing here? It's much more relaxing. And I get to do what I want to do, and that's play games. I don't want to be spending my nights creating guides and editing and stuff. I want to be playing video games, getting gamer score. the whole point I am um, start doing the guides to get access to these games <clears throat> a 10 minute YouTube video is not a podcast Hidden levels have started doing them now. I don't know if you've seen. Um, Hidden levels has called it a podcast as well, but there's a couple of shout outs at the start, and it's um, more news than anything else. I don't know. I don't think it's classed as a podcast again, is it really? game releases that are coming out and quick completions and things 
how I will see podcasters um, at least one or two well, at least two people having a conversation about something and maybe disagreeing about things and Make it up as a go. Well, when I was younger and um, couldn't afford to buy a game or whatever, um, I did watch a lot of playthroughs and walkthroughs of people just playing through a game just to see what I was missing out on as I got into employment and I can buy them myself now I don't really watch them at all I just I feel it boils my experience when I play it but there is some huge channels out there with like millions millions of subscribers and they just play through a game like this with a little bit of commentary over the top. Some don't even comment. Just put the raw footage up. I'm like how the fuck is he getting millions of views on that? Easy money if you can get it. <laughs> I did try it a couple of times myself. So I played through the likes of um, Prey. Arcane's game Prey. Um, with just me lightly talking over the top of it while playing it. I think I need to reverse a bit. Got fuck all views, of course. I missed the button. <laughs> it's me dead. You get a lot of like sports podcasts and stuff, but they tend to get other sporting celebrities and colleagues and stuff in. They have a conversation. That's more of a podcast to me. I don't really know what defines a podcast these days, but. But yeah, putting a 10 minute video up just saying. These are the games that are coming out this week. These are the quick completions you can do. Like True says, it's just a YouTube video. It's news related. Died right at the finish line. Yeah, especially in your situation, true, where you're up on the leaderboards on gamer score and stuff. It's if you're spending a lot of time editing videos, those are hours potentially that you're losing against your rivals, so to speak. You are kind of competing. Even if you say you're not, you kind of, you kind of are. <laughs> if you want to hold your position and whatnot. Last thing you want to do is spend a whole evening editing um, footage. This time about two years ago, I wouldn't even, um, oh, I've fucking done it again, I overcooked it. This time, two years ago, I probably would have had about 300, 300,000 game score, 400,000 game score, something like that. Wasn't achieved. Well, I, I would have said I was an achievement hunter. So I would um, get the completions and all the game pass games and... And amongst me friends, I had like hundreds of thousands of game score more than they had. 
It wasn't until I kind of started doing guides that I was being approached by these little indie devs that were like, oh, you want to do this for me? I'm like, yeah, I'll take anything and realized the beauty of easy um, completions and stuff. So I spent the last year, year and a half just going through a backlog of shit that I'd missed or not even heard of and getting easy wins to 1.3 mil now. Oh, I've done it again. I keep forgetting. Seth. Hello, Seth. How you doing? Yeah, you do lose a lot of time not using guides, but you like, you're like me, true. You like jumping on a game that's new, fresh out, I think. Well, certainly what I've seen from your um, live streams and stuff. I like jumping on the new stuff before anybody's played. I like those um, rare achievements that nobody's got, the not percenters and stuff. Not as much as some people that, um, like you say, have got like 26 hours in a day to complete. I don't know how that's possible, but I do what I can. I need to slow down here, don't I? Don't, don't open the... Not that slow. Not the end. Not the end. Nearly the end. Boom! Get out. I don't know why this... Uh, Stunt Paradise has become a bit of a rant about them. Um, oh, we finished. We got the 2k. Just under an hour. Could be quicker. I had a few hiccups and deaths and things, but... I'd say about 40-50 minutes completion on Stunt Paradise for the 2000. True's a legend? He's number one in Europe? What are you, fifth, fifth, sixth in the world, True? Legendary status. I'm in awe of um, True Marvelous's achievements. Seventh in the world. Oh no, that's by the that's by true achievements. Hang on. Sixth in the world. <laughs> Let me get it right. Couple of upstarts um pipped pipped you a little bit earlier on in the year, but the uh, same coming back. True's got a few things in his arsenal to um, fight back if he wishes. He's sixth in the world, according to Game of Scorn to you. Sang's in front of you. Not by much, like. It's maybe a couple of uh, easy completions. That Rafi's um, nearly caught uh, Siegfried X up now. Something a little bit sus. I'm not really one to point fingers. I know much about it. I'm relatively new to the game. So to speak, so I don't know people's history and things, but um, a hell of a lot of completions and a lot of firsts on stuff. It's um, 
quite surprising. You think T has looked into it? It's got tra re Rebel Transmute. It's not even out yet, is it? How is it out? Twenty came out on the fourteenth. I requested that age ago, ages ago. I obviously haven't been um, considered for it. <laughs> obviously missed the boat on that one. A shame that's uh Jandu soft. I usually get those codes from them. Obviously not this time around. No, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna point fingers or accusations or anything. Um there's no evidence or proof of it. Just it it seems a little bit sus how some people seem to get all the time in the world and hundred percent complete. Pretty much every game they've got. I know there's means and ways out there if you um, were looking for it. So, um, keep it all above board, children. Yeah, I didn't know baby games were a thing till the last year, year and a half. I don't like calling them baby games. Easy completions. That's putting a negative spin on them. Some of them are pretty good. Stunt Paradise, I enjoyed that. But that would be potentially classed as a baby game. <laughs> All right, um, Midnight on the Dot. Do you have um, sometimes used Knowledge Keeper? Which another triple stack. Space Moves from Desert Water Games. That's out Friday. What else have I got to cover in here? That are Seven Day Heroes. I'm sure this, I'll have more. Played Falconies, um, Bulwark. It's a little bit disappointed with that, actually. Have I not redeemed some of them? I'm sure, I have a hell of oh, the sunny calf's there. That's in the novel from East Asia Soft. I know True likes looking at the store after midnight, don't you? I don't really do it at all. I've already got too many games that I can't even get through. <laughs> Alone in the Dark. It's got five star on um, here as reviews. Our oh, Power of Ten's meant to be decent, isn't it? Looks quite cool. Looks like my kind of thing. I, I heard Lone in the Dark's got mixed reviews off Xbox. Obviously on here, the raving reviews on Xbox. Okay, now that's 21 quid. I did see that advertised. 30 little sport mini games in one. And they're asking for 21 quid for it. Christ. Police Simulator. Got a bundle. Terraformers. Oh, Starwood Rogue was awful. Wouldn't be buying that. Did 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 did. Oh, they got another one out. Wasn't four not so long ago. Was it the Throne or the Glove or something? I think True covered those earlier. Seen a few people playing um Bundables. I haven't actually seen the trailer or anything for it. Sexual Induendo.
You can't control characters. You can control objects, so ah, the stage. I could see how that might be fun for a couple of levels, but it's pretty much one of those um <laughs> ball maze games, isn't it? But with people and characters you're rolling about. Mm. I don't know. I've maybe changed my tune on that one. <clears throat> I had a response on Bulwark. I know they're selling it um, quite heavily, but didn't enjoy it. Streamed it the other day. He was doing a sing and dance about the Twitch integration, but the Twitch integration is only on the PC side, not the Xbox side. So it's just kind of relatively bland. It's just... Uh, an empty sandbox world with a couple of enemy bases and random events seemed very unfinished and it's out in like the next week or something really disappointed right i think i'm going to call time there on the stream thank you to all the guys and girls that have um hung around kind of consistent 10 views viewers throughout i have noticed that um youtube is dropping off a little bit but that's me undoing because i'm being put as much time or effort into youtube so it's to be expected yeah i think most of my game score is now from easy completion sadly at about 400, 500k, which has been from Game Pass and AAA titles and stuff, but it's probably nearly a million now for me. <laughs> Easy completions. I'm just reading the chat and then I'm going to go. It's like, what's the point of being one of their content creators when they don't? That was the first content I've ever created with them. So I've been sat in there for ages looking at their backlog of their their previous titles and games. And I'm like, Oof. they're not they're not they're not big <laughs> they're not big sellers like um and I do like kind of building games, sandbox chill out kind of, but again bulwark just didn't take the boxes. There's some, there's something amiss with it. Um, but it was my first bit of content I've done for them. I don't know if they take note or mark it down or anything. Who knows? Got any Game Pass games planned? I'd, I'd like to go back to Control. So I did the base 1000 of Control. And obviously they've released the Ultimate Edition, but apparently that's a different stack now. So I'd be pretty much starting again from scratch. So that one's stuck in the ether somewhere. That I don't own because it was on the Game Pass before. Where I don't own it, don't own the DLC, and it's sat at a thousand. And then I've got this new game, Control Unlimited Ultimate, whatever it's called. That I can play the DLC, but I'd have to go through the whole base game again. Don't know if I can be bothered. Deliver us the moon. Was it Deliver us the moon I played? They've done two, isn't it? Is it? Was the other one Mars or something? If there's one I've played and one I haven't played. Oh, I deliver, I'm thinking of something else, aren't I? It's a different dev. You're on about the... Are you? I don't know. I was thinking of that, but it's called Those Who Remain. 
confused now. I got small lands and I've never played that. I haven't even started it. Return to Grace installed with the intention of playing. I didn't play. I'm obviously playing um, Lightyear Frontier with True. That's Game Pass. Certainly with the live streaming, I'm finding I'm playing less Game Pass games. I used to always play the Game Pass games. There wasn't a title I didn't really miss. I used to play the lot, but I find myself these days just picking and choosing. Fancy space engineers, but I think that would be better in a co-op with friends. I think it'd be pretty shit on your own. Bolt gun looks okay. I like a first person shooter, but Ah, has it got both version versions of control? But that's not gonna have the DLC in it, is it? Um how do you look at what's in it? Not anymore, is it? Can we install it? You're gonna say I don't have any DLC, isn't it? Oh, apparently I do. Aha! It's all that shit I was talking about with the double stack. <laughs> Interesting. That might work after all. Um, so I definitely didn't own those previously. That seems to have come down. Interesting. The game pass. So it looks like I can do the old control. Okay, I might potentially stream that at some point. And if I wanted to double stack it, I could do the ultimate. SpongeBob. Yeah. My kids love Spongebob, so I'd be quite happy to play a Spongebob game, but I think Lucy put me off talking about all the collectibles that you needed to get. There's always something to play. I'm always given codes and things. Um, got Seven Day Heroes, Space Moves, Sunny Calf, Knowledge Keeper. I need to play Shockman again because I requested the collection. So Radalaka are putting a Shockman collection together with one and two in. I already own them both. Um, and I've already done content for them before. But I'm willing to div give it another 20 minutes, half an hour, just to be able to give you guys a code for a collection, for a giveaway or something. Um, and then I got a DLC pack for Jurassic World Evolution 2 which I requested freaking donkeys ago and it just got accepted. So I'll have to do um, some DLC or oh, some Jurassic Park World content at some point. Yeah, Evil West. I was going to buy Evil West donkeys ago when it was first announced. I never did. It's coming to Game Pass anyway, so I'll play that. Mars, but not published by Wired. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I got my wires crossed. <laughs> Yeah, Mike's just done about the DLC there. For some reason, I didn't think I had access to it because it was just the ultimate edition, but it does. And it's got PC stacks, so you can get a triple spack, stack. Triple, triple spack. The Windows doesn't have two versions on there as well, does it? Control? We're not talking four stacks? No, there isn't. There's just one on PC. So you've got Control, Control Windows, and Control Ultimate Edition. And I did just the 1000 on Control, didn't I? Yeah, didn't do the DLC. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I much preferred the game they did before. Quantum. What was it called? Quantum? Quantum Break? 
I much preferred that over control. I don't know why control just wasn't ticking the boxes for me. I did like the time element rather than the just randomness of um, control. But each to their own, each to their own. And it did review very well and a lot of people do like it. Uh, Dwag has just sent me the walkthrough for retouring. <laughs> he must have seen I was playing it. I'll not get the full completion. Right. Um, anyway, I'm going to go to bed anyway. I'll do a little bit of admin, check emails and whatever before I go to bed. Won't be streaming tomorrow, but of course I will be on at some point playing games during the evening. I'll be sat in Discord if anybody wants to drop in, play something corp. Um, if anybody wants to do something while not on the stream, because I know people are a little bit uh, camera shy, don't want to be on mic and stuff. So I'll be around tomorrow evening if uh, the likes of Mike and True want to do a little bit more on Lightyear Frontier. I'll be about. Um, and after that Friday night, I will be on live streaming over on Twitch. We'll do the Five Accord Friday, where you can have anything for a fiver on the store. That kind of thing. See if we can get some punters in, some views in. Come watch me instead. Yes, true. It'll be um live tomorrow night. You can go and watch him over on dis Discord on um Twitch. Your true marvelous one, are you? Over on Twitch. Somebody else has pinched your true marvelous name. But yes, good night, everybody. Um God bless. Thank you for all sticking around until the bitter end. I know some of those games weren't great that we're playing tonight. I'm glad I stopped bitching about uh, Master Maker 3D before um, Derek came in. <laughs> I forbid I was still bitching about it when he joined. Um, I do hope you had a bit of a giggle when I was saying how brilliant it was. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. And. Um, I'll catch you on Friday. Good night, God bless, and I will see you then. Toodle pips. <laughs>